All right, welcome everybody to another episode of Ark. Uh, we are still on the island, surviving. Now, as you guys know, last episode we spotted a Giga. Um, but before we get into messing around with any of that stuff, um, we got some business to attend to. Uh, I, I need metal. Our metal game has dropped significantly. I have uh, literally none in my base, but we did go out. I built my own forge out on a mountain. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start off. We're going to go over there, farm up a bunch of metal with our Anki, and uh, get those forges running and... And then once that stuff's going, if I can build up enough resources, we'll go ahead and build ourselves a industrial forge. Uh, might not focus on that today, but we'll kind of just see how much metal we can get from that mountain, how much we can get, you know, cooking up right now. I got about nine forges in there right now, so um, we should be able to turn out a good bit. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out there, we're gonna get it going. Uh, that's how I want to start this episode off, and then um, at other points we might start looking into doing some caves i got my new thyla that i gotta uh level up so we can we can look into doing some caves but uh oh man i don't know why but the audio sounded so loud right there <laughs> let me turn this down just a tiny bit Okay, uh, let's go ahead and me. This is my level 111. Thought that's my new one. This is my old one. Okay. Um. So we'll store this up for right now. I will keep this thyla on me. Now for our Anki, I am going to go ahead and grab. Or I'm gonna bring my RG to help with the uh, the farming of the. But did I use all of my? There's no way I used all of my freaking arrows. Um, we're gonna grab our RG. Uh, make sure I have food on me. I'm gonna grab some more food. Uh YouTube record. Hey, double. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope the recommendation wasn't uh was a bad wasn't a bad recommendation for you. <laughs> uh but let's go ahead and grab some cooked meat. Uh we'll grab some healing potions. No, we won't. We'll leave those. I'll save those for when we go caving. Uh but yeah, we got some food on us. Got that. Alright. We're looking good, chat. We're looking good. Is my RG out here? Or on the roof. At least it's on the roof. Yeah, we so we spotted a Giga last episode, and um, at some point I was thinking about going and trying to mess around with it. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here's my arrow. I was like, I guess like, I sure I had freaking arrows somewhere, man. All right, let's do it, chat. Let's get right to business. It was it was it was huge. The Giga was big. Yeah, Metal Hunter 9000, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we can churn out a good bit of uh, metal. I don't see why we can't, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I got a lot of forges. This area seemed pretty decent. And worst case scenario, I could always fly over to the volcano. It's not a very far trip. Um, get some more metal from volcano and bring it back to our outpost. Yeah, the Giga was right about a level 50 or something like that. Yeah, he was over on that mountain over there. Kind of right where that drop is almost. Let's 
A nice day out though in the uh on the island chat. Now, we do got to be a little careful because there's a lot of saber tooths um, around this mountain. Not much else, uh, but there is quite a few saber tooths. I, I did have a T Rex spawn um, at one point. So it's not like this area is 100% safe. It is safe from like a lot of the dangers that the Redwoods have, you know, Thylas and stuff like that. But. As you can see, we got some RGs on this side. Look at that. Tons of metal chat. Oh, yeah. We'll be good. Just trying to see if I can fly over here. Yep. Straight flight, no landing. All right. Let's see here. So, Anki. Forgot we turned all these on for charcoal. I actually got a decent bit of charcoal in here, don't I? So we're gonna have to go out and get some either like thatch. Um, yeah, probably get a bunch of thatch, or I'm gonna probably do wood because uh, it'd be better off for a charcoal farm if I if I do wood than instead of burning thatch. Uh, Jax with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. Play Conan Exile. So I have thought about it, Jax. Like I said, it's it's one of those games that are on the list to be played. You know, with Ark and all that stuff going on, the last thing I want to do is bring more games into the fold, especially with all the new game releases we have. But Conan Exiles is on the list of games for me to check out at some point. Um, for sure. Get some weight. Drop a little health on a Sankey. Get this stuff here. Damn, I actually have a decent bit of stone, too. So if I do any more than two stones, um, my Anki's going to be overweight. So I'll probably do... We'll probably do two stones empty out of my RG. Then two more stones. And then come back. I'm going to empty out my inventory a little bit, just... Okay. Um drop some stuff in here. Uh, we'll drop that. This this Miss your Anki. Awesome. So I can pick up a full stack of metal now and still move, which is great.
before I'd pick, I had to keep splitting it, and it was so frustrating, Jet, so frustrating. But, um, with this, yeah, I could pick up a full stack and still move. Definitely keep all our extra stone. Now, I wanted to use mainly wood, but I actually don't have a whole lot of wood. But I want this uh, collection, or I want to start getting this stuff going right now, so... We'll load wood up into that one, and then the rest of these I'll just have to do thatch for right now. I want to get this stuff going. There it is. That's what happens, chat. I want to move these raptors. Oh. Nice. Really, I gotta be over... So I wait. I wait 206 currently. I gotta drop this. Uh, once I drop this, I should I should be good. I didn't realize charcoal was that heavy, chat. Nah, your rap hey Casper, your raptors, both your raptors are still alive, bro. I had a feeling that RG was gonna come over here, but. Now we're good. Okay, we got metal cooking up. So I did have some people in the comments asking me about, um, you know, why I removed S plus and how amazing, you know, like the pulling feature and all this stuff. This stuff was. First thing was is even when I had S plus. Because I'm so new at the game, I, I didn't even I, I barely could even utilize it at at its max. I, I never used the pull feature. I didn't know how it worked. I barely know how the regular game worked. And then what happens is because I installed S plus and I didn't have S plus facilities built and I had the original ones, I didn't convert them. And then like it, it was just it was just adding more confusion to the game than I needed. Now a lot of you guys are oh it's not even that confusing. Like but when you're new and like I'm still just trying to learn the game as it is, it was a lot to try to take on. You know what I mean? Um, so I was just like, and plus, I ninety percent of S plus, I wasn't even going to use. Maybe I would have used the pull feature, but at that point, like I said, it was more confusing trying to figure out how to use the pull feature than anything. You know what I mean? So I just went ahead, and because none of my facilities were um, S plus compatible, I couldn't even use the pull, and I had to go around and freaking convert them all, and then it erased all my ingrams, and then every time I'd restart the game, and I had some facility, it would just keep resetting my ingrams over and over over again and it was just it was just too much so i went ahead and just took the shit out i was like you know if i start a fresh map w once i know the game better i'll go ahead and add s plus but at the same time i don't even feel that it's 100 necessary you know what i mean i did so i was like let me just figure out how the game works baseline later on once i have a really good understanding of what the hell's going on then i'll look at it but yeah it just it was just too much chat Get a good bit of flint right there. <clears throat> I 
Alex, how you doing? Okay, so we got a little bit of metal there. I gotta actually get on my RG now and fly to a different location. Was that all of my thatch already, though? Nope, I still got a little bit here. And this actually has wood in it, too. Yep, right, so that's good. So it's a good start here, chat. It's not, it's not gonna be, uh, you know, we're not gonna be cranking out millions of metal but only been over here for a couple minutes and I feel like we're already off to a good start so Sully with the super chat thank you so much gotta say I've been loving uh, your arc videos I stumbled on your first one and have been watching ever since keep up the good work I really appreciate you man and I'm glad you're enjoying it Axel yeah my Hey, the dyslexia kicks in, Axel. It, it, it's it, it's the real deal, man. Okay, so I'm gonna grab. We'll try this. I know a lot of you guys are trying to put me on this. Now, you said they only auto mine to 50%, right? Damn, he filled up 50% that fast? Oh, because he was too busy getting other shit. Got it. Got a bunch of stone, which I'm not going to complain because I actually need stone. Uh, for quite a bit of, uh, a bit of our crafting thing, so I'm not upset with that. It is what it is. Definitely gonna need more, uh, more wood to keep these fires going. But once we get all the metal that we need, I'll go ahead and we'll do a wood run, get all these filled up. Better than no Anki. I wouldn't call it Giga Taming Day. Um, more like Giga Engagement Day. Giga Taming, that's a big claim, chat. That's a big claim. Really? <laughs> all right, so we're going to drop all this crap.
Uh, Fable, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, 50 spark powder melt a full stack of metal, really? So spark powder is a good, uh... Obviously better than thatch. But I guess it's an upgraded version of, like, burning thatch. A little pricey to make, though. At my current level, because I need I need my spark powder for gunpowder, which I need a lot of gunpowder for. Uh, damn it! We're gonna need a lot of gunpowder for um, my shotgun. Oh, but Fable, thank you again. I appreciate it. Nah, there'll be no raids quitting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very, very prepared for engaging this gig. I, I got, I got a plan, chat. I got, I got a plan. We can get enough metal. That is. And no, dying is not in the plan, chat. That is not a part of the plan. My plan has nothing but success in it. I mean, is dying ever a part of the plan, though? Like, let's be real, chat. Oops. Buy two more of these runs and we'll be in good shape. It would be a part of your plan. Nah, Cast, we'll tell you, it's our plan is success, brother. It's all about success, you know what I mean? There's good bits of metal all over the place. Grab these two here. I might actually start dropping the stone. Nah, I could always use more stone chat, realistically. I could always use more stone.
Uh, because if you look at my RG's weight, even when I pick up a full Anki mat, I can, I'm almost max weight just picking this up. Um, so if I were to try to load any more on my RG, I would just, I would, I would be overfill it and I wouldn't be able to fly if I picked up the Anki. So that's why I, I wasn't loading it up. Um, there are rich metal nodes and normal metal nodes. Rich nodes are completely gold co- Ah! Gotcha. That's why some of them are churning out more stone than go uh, metal. Like I said, my goal here, chat, is to make sure I get enough metal so we don't have to worry about metal for a while. Um... And when I mean a while, I mean a while. I got, I got big, big goals. Uh, granted, my RG could probably do a little better if I didn't have all this weight on my RG already. Dude, will the RG eat the raw fish? Yeah, well, okay, cool. I just want to make sure I didn't have him out there starving. Does my otter need any? That's a good question. I filled my otter up. Before, yeah, he's still got a good bit on him. This look oh that looks like a pretty rich node right there, doesn't it? Oh, Patrick, how you doing? Yeah, this one looks pretty pretty good. Oh, yeah. Woo! Let's go look for some more of those. No! Why? Really? I am going to start dropping this stone, though, just to allow me to get more metal. Yeah, these are pretty rich. <laughs> Nicola, with the huge super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, love watching you play. You're doing awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. I'm glad you're enjoying the playthrough. 
And Neil Ski with the super chat. Make a metal helmet and a funny skin uh, for your honor. It helps keep them alive. I don't even know what you mean by a skin for the honor. Like, I could put, oh, like, armor on him? And, um, uh, Nicolo, thank you so much for the $10 donation. I really do appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and do that, and we will, again, drop all of that. Yeah, see, if I drop the stone, we, we get way more out of these metal runs. You tried, Mr. Sabretooth. You tried. There we go. Pretty rich nodes right here. Don't hit me with it, bro. I got. Name a monkey you can equip it with a T-Rex skull. Now the one the one thing I was thinking about trying to also get at some point, chat, was the um What is it? The uh Frog. The frog. Cause uh, I was told that with the frog, you can just eat bugs and the it turns the chitons directly into um Cement paste. And I was like, yo, that that's that's pretty sick. <laughs> Drop rates are depressed. What am I not getting? I feel like we're getting the most resources right now, are we not? Better than no ink he's putting in work right now, chat. I feel like we're doing all right. one here twelve thousand metal in one spot oof I mean when I seen some of the prices of things, like, yeah, you know, when you see a cup, like, 5,000 metal ingots, you're like, ooh, you know, that's, that's, that's heavy. That, that hits real, real hard. Uh, I don't have enough. I, I mean, I might have enough metal for a forge right now. I'm not sure. Common thing, chap.
Get my head jammed through the roof. I mean, at this point, I think I, I sh we should have more than enough for the industrial forge. Oops. Should. All right. Keyword is should. That's a lot of metal right there, chat. Uh, we're doing good. So now we just got to wait for this stuff to cook, chat. Um... I was wondering if I should... We'll just have this cooking up while we're out doing missions. Now we're going to go on a wood run. Boy, my forges are... Going to run the whole time we're doing other things. Um, and then we'll just have passive metal gain. Which I should have had this whole time. While we're out doing other things. Nailscape Forge is 3x3 three three and 6 hide. Yeah, I, I might actually have to uh, build it outside or tear this wall down. I was thinking about tearing this wall down um, and reconfiguring the base a little bit to, to accommodate the, the new forge. Yeah, we did pretty good, chat. We, we did pretty damn good, I, got, I gotta say, with the, the amount of metal we have right now. Pull up this last forge with three stacks. I need to eat. We need to eat. I think I said it was three cooked meat, right? To go back to complete full hunger. Alright, so... Throw this last stack in, and then we're going to head out and get a bunch of wood. Yeah, we are going to have to get um, some, some obsidian, too. But obsidian's a little easier because you don't have to do anything, you know, other than collect it. But we're going to go out really quick, get some of this, uh, some wood. Oh, I need my axe. Have I clubbed penguins yet? No. <laughs> I haven't, Chet. I haven't. Uh, that might be a better option, right? Going to get some organic polymers compared to trying to do the obsidian craft. Because the obsidian, it, it's, you know, twice the work. I wonder if it is easier to just do the penguins.
I was trying to do it the peaceful way, you know? I was trying to- I was trying to spare the penguins. That's trying to kill the penguins. Okay. I thought I was doing a good job watching my weight, chat. I was wrong. Should be able to move very slowly. Shane saw the penguins? <laughs> That's the most savage thing I've ever heard. You can't Shane saw the penguins? Like, do you even hear yourselves, chat? Shane saw the penguins. So what you guys are saying is you're gonna. This is how ch chat. Tell me this doesn't sound savage. So you're gonna you're gonna have a you're gonna raise your own little penguins. You're gonna have your own little penguin babies going around your base. You're gonna have a pen full of them. Then you're just gonna walk in there and just ying, 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 and just start chainsawing all your penguins. <laughs> Like, how does that not sound absolute savage? Make sure I have enough wood in each of these. For this shit to last. We'll do probably one more trip of wood. Should be enough to cover it. I don't know, maybe not, Chad. I feel like... I feel like a stack of metal takes quite a bit of wood. Check Ingrams for chainsaw. Yeah, I definitely never seen a chainsaw in my shit. I thought you guys said the chainsaw was in a different map. Ooh. What happens when you when you pick up just a little too much chat? So what is using the club on the penguins do? Does that like produce more polymers?
Okay. I'm gonna, just for the sake of not flying it super slow, we're gonna... I don't know. No, my precious stacks of wood are much better. Sword gets you more than clubs. And I'll, I really do want to thank you guys for already almost 300 likes on the stream. So we're going hard right now on the wood chat and these so I'm gonna make sure we have enough. Keep these going. This one. I'm gonna need more in that one. So I'm gonna take a little bit from these because I had a couple extra stacks. All right, so our forge is good. Um, Enki is away. We'll just let this run. Uh, pretty sure within a few hours we should have thousands, right, Chad? Thousands. Skim a little off the top for what we need right now. Skimmed a bit off the top there. Um, got a good bit of metal. Head back to base. Now we talk about needing polymers. Is, is eating penguins with a thyla? Gonna give me a decent bit of a uh, a decent bit of polymers. Ooh. 
Well, I need to level up my, my, uh, I gotta level up my Thyla. So I was trying to, like, kill two birds with one stone. I'll uh, bring him with this super chat. If I remember correctly, you can level up a moss chop, gather specifically more organic followers. Good to see you today, bro. I hope I am doing good, Brandon. Definitely doing good, brother. Yeah, this fog is hits hard, chat. Hits real hard. So I think I should have enough to make the four metal gates that I need. I still don't know how this is going to work, chat. Um, but I have no clue how this is going to work. This gig is going to be... Uh, I'm going to get some sleeping bags. We're going to go and... Uh, Get situated. I gotta find a spot to, to a good place to place the trap. Uh, a good spot to lure. Now the thing is, is it's probably not a good idea to try to lure on my RG. Can a giga? Do you think it will one hit my RG? If I remember correctly, you can level up a moss chop to gather specifically more organic polymer. Also, great to see you today, Brian. Hope you're good. It won't. Uh, I'm, uh, that's the only thing I'm worried about. Is it getting, uh, it getting one hit? Yeah, Dennis, you keep spamming the chat, bro. You're gonna end up getting uh, banned, bro. Yes, there is a giga in the thumbnail. That is what we're going to try to hunt. Well, try to, to capture. All right. Oh, uh, let's see here. So, four dino gates. Okay. Are those crafted here? Yes, they are crafted here. So, we need one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You won't get banned forever, bro. Um. Unless you don't, unless you keep doing it. No, no, it's just a, a timeout. It's a, it's a temporary timeout. Slap on a wrist. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like to ban anybody, ever. Um, but if people are, because the, the thing about spam is, it's already hard enough for me to read the chat. Um, but when people spam the chat, it makes it even harder for me to, to read anything. Uh, so that that's so that's the main reason why we're we're pretty harsh on uh, the spam. So it just drown, drowns out everybody. Come on. Now, if Nightbot was in the chat, oh man, Nightbot is a savage chat. I actually had to remove Nightbot because <laughs> it was just banning people for putting like one too many periods. Boom, you'd catch a ban. I was like, nah, we gotta, we gotta take this shit off. All right, so we got that cement paste. Two, th four stacks of that. I haven't built a, uh, a vault yet, no. Alright, so here we go, chat. We got enough. We can build all four of the metal walls. Oh. These are the ones I needed, right? The metal dinosaur gates? Oh, yeah. Nightbot is an absolute savage because Nightbot doesn't... You know, it's an AI. It, it doesn't have... <laughs> humanity. There's, It's just black and white with Nightbot. There's no... <laughs> there's no gray. 
All right. And then you guys were saying something about the bear traps, right? Let me see. Traps. So bear trap. Hide fiber metal. That's not. Those are actually not that bad. So, damn, like, for instance, my RG has about 5,000 health, all right, chat? If I were to catch a bite, like, a single bite from a level 50 giga, how much damage do you think that would do to my RG with the bleed? Oh, large chat, trap. Oh, there's a different one? Crap. Large bear trap. There it is. Like, like how much how much damage do you think that thing's putting out? Ooh. Damn. Close to half health. <laughs> Jeez. So I got to get some more hide in here, and I believe it was fiber, right? Yep, fiber. I think my, all my fibers are downstairs. Yep, there we go. I was like, dude, I... I but now we do got our, our one fiber uh, collecting dino, though. You guys said that. I'll never have to worry about fiber again. Okay, so let's do... Uh, how? Uh, so do you only need one trap? Or should I put down, like, multiple traps? Uh, Giga Bleed Attack is 25%. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, it, it won't hurt to make a bunch, I guess. So we'll, we'll do five. We'll, we'll, there you go. We'll do five, chat. We'll do five traps. There is a Giga on the same mountain as yours on my game. Only problem is that there is an Alpha Rex right by it as well. Oof. I have to kite the Rex away. Uh, courage with the super chat. Thank you so much. Yeah, that sounds like a shitty situation, man. I'm hoping that the situation near my Giga stayed stays the same. Um, because that would be super super unfortunate. I forgot my uh, crossbows and stuff at the other. Uh... No, I think that was a crappy crossbow, wasn't it? No, nah, it was my two good crossbows. I'll grab those on the way back. I have bolts there. Well, what do I need for arrows? Let me see here. So I'm going to grab all these narcotics. The two stacks of narcotics. Grab this. Grab those. Grab those. I think we should be okay. Um, what do I need for sleeping bags? Plenty of those will be out of craft.
I, I'm, I'm a little nervous, chat. I, I'd be lying to you guys if, if I'd say I wasn't nervous. And Nielski, also again, thank you so much, brother, for the super chat. Um, I, I got a lot of narcotics. Uh, we got, we got a, we got a good handful of them. Um, I might actually need more, but let me see. What's in here? I don't have any berries. Can I make more? We'll make more. We'll make more real quick. Now, you guys said that this guy can get... This guy can get, uh, narco berries? Is he better than Wendy? For narco berries. If so, let's go ahead and get him a saddle. What is it? What is it? The Thera... Yeah, the Xenosaur. short on metal. Uh, I'll craft this over at the, uh... Oh, crap, I can't. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I need more metal, chat. We're just gonna take Wendy out. It is what it is. Hey, I just don't... I don't have enough, uh... Grab some of this, too. I don't have enough on me right now to make a saddle. I don't have enough metal. But it's fine. We'll just use Wendy. She's good enough for right now. I'm going for a stack. A lot of narco berries here. You guys are wondering what we're doing prep for right now. Um, we're prepping to try to capture a Gigas. We are trying. Alright, be honest in the chat. How many of you guys have faith that I'm going to successfully pull this off?
Oh my! No 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 no! Level 115. <laughs> yeah, the, the, well, that's why I'm harvesting right now. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of harvesting right now, so we can we can have a lot more tranks. Um, we're gonna have a handful of crossbows, handful of tranks. The main thing, though, is just catching catching the gigger, right? Because if I can at least trap the gigger. Right? If I trap it, even if I don't have enough resources on me at the moment, like say I didn't bring enough tranks, I can, the gig is trapped at that point, right? Trapping it, I feel like is the, 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 once it's trapped, the hard part is over. Now it's just a matter of, I can leave, go and craft everything I need, come back and get the damn thing, right? And just hope it doesn't d disappear. I'm going to try to trap it with the dino gate. Five metal dino? I only made four. Getting thick with narco berries now, chat. Yeah, we're gonna rehearse. We're gonna we're gonna rehearse the plan. Go store all these up in the uh, chem station. Daisy with the super chat. Thank you so much. A Dodex says level 50 giga, 179 trank nuts. I actually probably already have that that many um i know i have well over a hundred at the outpost right now This goes. All right, so we got these narcotics getting done. But uh, Daisy, again, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. And uh, angry drunk in German. Uh, I don't see that keg of beer. <laughs> I know we're slacking on so much stuff. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can make a change today. I'm hoping today is a big day. Making some big changes. I will be trying the Arkham games. 
That indeed we will. So I'll, I have a bunch of crossbows at that other base. Um, just just to be safe, we'll bring... Uh, I don't see that keg of beer, Brian. Why are you slacking? You know you'd like a beer right now. <laughs> we'll bring a couple extras. Got this... Ooh. That's a lot of narcotics, chat. That's definitely a lot of narcos. Actually, I might run out of raw meat before we run out of berries this time. I could wear my black armor. Is that significantly better than what I'm wearing? So armor 100. Armor. Oh, yeah, it's way, way better. How'd my normal helmet go? Here it is. I, I'm gonna have to repair this stuff, but we'll repair it at the outpost. Yeah, I got my full flak on. So, about all the that is about all of the uh, narcotics I could conjure up at the moment. I feel like it's quite a damn bit. I'm a little nervous, chat. I'm a little worried about this. We'll see, though. We'll see how this goes. Did everybody feel this way going after their first Giga? Oh, leave the otter? Yeah, we don't want to lose this damn otter. He was a pain in the ass to get. I'm actually going to bring it. Well. Could leave him at my outpost. As long as chat is confident, I'm confident. You know what I mean? Edgar, thank you for the sub.
And uh, Ruby, thank you for the sub. I can't even see the damn mountain. There's a gold drop over there. Go check out that drop really quick, chat. Jerry with the super chat, man. Go ahead and build your tainment traps. No need for honor. Left the bad to yeah. use the drones to drop the bombs on beam. <laughs> Jerry, there it is, brother. Thank you so much for the super, man. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and build your taming trap. No need for honor. You left that badge in breakpoint when you used drones to drop bombs on the behemoth. Yeah, but the, the yeah, the behemoth still was eating those bombs like it was nothing. Um. Oh, I got a blue silage um, saddle. Uh, but the thing about the whole honor thing, I actually had somebody comment uh, on my last video. Like, guys, when I when I was saying like I wanted to tame things with honor and all this stuff, like I wasn't talking shit about people who use traps to tame things. Like, I I know that's part of the game. I was I was literally just kidding. Like, um, we we played Ghost of Tsushima. And I'm on my whole honor kick because, you know, Jin Sakai and his uncle wanting to do everything with honor. Um, it, it's it's just a joke. Um, I, I know it's a part of the game. And I was literally just trying to trying to make things harder for myself and, and just mess around. Obviously, uh, it's how the game is. So yeah, if anybody did take offense to my uh, my honor joke, I, I, I was I was I was literally just kidding. But I do want to put this better saddle on my Thylo. Oh, this one actually doesn't have a saddle, anyways. Ooh, look at that chat. So he's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of armor. Um, let me think. Is I don't have any. F okay, so let's go ahead and grab both of our good crossbows really quick. We'll get those down on our bar first. I'm gonna carry these as backups. I thought I built a smithy here. What the hell? Well, I got the RG, so it's fine. Okay, so... Let's start off with... Fiber flint thatch. Actually, don't think I have uh, any thatch, do I? Nielski! It's prison yard rules on Ark? No, no, you're not joking, man. Like I said, I know the game doesn't play fair at all, you know what I mean? Like, at all. Um, and realistically, trapping things is actually just strategy, chat. You know, it's not cheating. It's, it's, it is. It's strategy. And it's not like trapping things is easy, either.
I'm not. Oh yeah, we're not going after it right now, Chad. I'm, I'm literally just getting some thatch. Like we learned really, really quick that um, even the trap we built down there on the beach, trying to catch the spino, that shit was not easy. Uh, trapping is a, a, it's an art form in itself. Trapping is definitely an art form in itself. So that should be more than enough thatch. Yeah, we still we still got a little bit more prep work we got to do before we head out, chat. Uh, I got to get the arrows and everything crafted up. So I feel like this should, and I also got to repair my, uh, you can't repair in a freaking smithy can or on an RG smithy. I need an actual table to repair my armor. Yeah, I, I would have to. I, I could build a smithy. That's no problem. Okay, so let me see. We got about 170 arrows coming. We should have more than enough arrows, chat. We should have more than enough. Um, what do I need to craft a smithy? Stone, wood, metal, and hide. Stone, I need wood and metal and Definitely craft some shocking trank darts to tame. Yeah, the only problem, Nate, is it's just above my what I have right now, like resource-wise. Like this is what I can afford. Um, 
I don't even know how to make shock stuff. But I do have some really high level crossbows. I got two ascension crossbows. Um, so those plus the dart, the the uh, we should we should be all right. We should do. A and we're just gonna get in. I'm gonna get my armor, my crossbows repaired, and then uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna find a good spot to put the traps. I'm gonna lay my sleeping bags. Just in case I die, I'll have a spot to respawn. I got a couple extra crossbows on me already. Yeah, if you guys see, I got three extras in my inventory plus my two ascensions. So we're going to have all together five crossbows. Um... Really? So let's go ahead, get that metal back out now, get it in here. Add metal. Okay, so what do I need to repair this stuff? Wood. So we're going to need wood and fiber. Really? Raptor tails? Seriously, dude? Stop it. I want to make sure my otter has more than enough food on him. Which he does. to snag a little bit of wood out of this. Okay, so let me go ahead and repair you. And we'll get my gear in here. Get all this repaired. Perfect. The gear's repaired. Uh, I got 348... Uh, Frank arrow set. That should be more than enough with my 200, because I have one crossbow that is 212%, and I have the other one that's 218%. And if you guys are saying it's approximately 200 arrows at my 
I, I feel like we should we should have more than enough. Uh, I'm gonna grab some ec extra to make sure I can keep the damn thing asleep. This, this, this. I will bring the 20 trank darts too, just like, just in case. How's my gun at? There it is. We'll grab our rifle. I got some trank darts just in case. Got a lot of weight on me. <laughs> um... Do a handful more, chat. I am bringing all the narcs. Uh, the other ones are just on the RG right now. Doing a hundred more arrows just to be safe. Okay. Alright, we're off, chat. We're gonna go make this dream a reality. Wait, where are my sleeping bags? I don't have sleeping bags. Uh, taming food I'm going to acquire while I'm there. Yeah, taming food we'll get while we're there. Um, once I get the lay of the land, I might go around with my RG, just peck a couple things. Um, but I want to go there. I want to get my sleeping bags down. I got to find a place I'm going to park my RG that's away from everything else just in case because the where my RG and my base is gonna like my little uh, you know death respawn position I guess you could say um, it's, it's definitely gonna be in a different spot compared to you know where we're uh, trying to get this damn thing
Now this is the moment where I realized I made mistakes. Yeah, we are pretty over encumbered. It's because of the sleeping bags. Once I get the sleeping bags and stuff down, we, we should be okay. Gigantosaurus furiosa is an enormous predator, oh. larger even than the Tyrannosaurus or the Spinosaurus. What are the chances? A run down by a Gigantosaurus can mean certain death for any creature. Fighting a Gigantosaurus is never a good idea, as its rage rapidly grows with every hit it takes. With this rage, it builds increasing reserves of energy to use. Making its iron jawed bites progressively more deadly and enhancing its stamina. Add to this the fact that its huge body also enables it to take the greatest amount of punishment, and you have a creature that is generally better avoided or outsmarted than attacked head on. Taming Gigantosaurus is a dangerous prospect. Its rage reaction, even when tamed. Oh, should have waited. I wanted to hear that. We got some extra levels on my Thyla, though. It's like the game new, chat. Like, what the hell? How's it gonna... Well, <laughs> oh, Dak, I'm glad you're enjoying them, man. We got to figure out where the hell do we even want to put the traps, chat? Because I can lure him from right there. Maybe down to here. Here is also pretty okay. What do you think, chat? This looks like as good a space as any.
Seems like a good place as enemy, right? So, how I'm, I'm gonna do this is we're gonna try to get it to follow us, right? From here. And I'm gonna lure it like this. Boom, into the trap. I'll be on the other side of the trap. Bingo, bango. Boom. All right, we got our bear traps. We got our normal traps. Sounds like a good plan, right, chat? So. How do we build this bad boy? Okay. So is it just build a box, chat? Literally a, an actual box? Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. Or do we do it in like a different type of shape? So one like that, right? The next one would be like here. Like that, right? And then the third one will be like here, right? And then I'll leave the backside open. We'll run through it. Boom. Once he's in it, we place the place the last gate. Oh, so leave so leave a little bit of uh, don't don't have them touching. Leave like uh, some some space in between them. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So should I leave a little bit of space to like even downward? You know what I mean, like. Lisa, you gotta, you gotta move. Uh, Sebastian, thank you for the sub. Okay, so if this is it right here, right? We're gonna go ahead and say... You guys say like that, or is that too much space? Okay. 
So we got to be careful to make sure that the uh, backside's not too wide. But then I also don't want to... We know that it's hard. We, we know. How do you use the top-down view? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We know... Um, that the dinos have a hard time getting through these cracks, chat. I, I couldn't get the damn thing to fit through, uh, the Spino to fit through when I wanted him to, you know? <laughs> All right, so that's... So I was thinking, like, maybe, like, like that. I, I don't think the Kika would, would fit through that. Period. You know what I mean? Okay. And last but not least. Like that. I'm getting more nervous, chat, as we get closer. <laughs> as, as we get closer to, to attempting this. I'm getting more nervous. Okay. So now that I have the last gate, right, chat? I'm not, obviously, we're, we're not placing that right now. Um, but I lure the Giga in, boom, boom, he follows us in, um, he should hit this and just hard stop, right, with the, with the trap. Now, the thing is, is when he hard stops with the trap, he won't be able to turn around or anything, and what, am I supposed to come around back here and just, skadoosh, drop the last one on him? But I only get like 10 seconds, though, chat. That's the issue. I only get like a little window. So I'm going to place a bunch of traps. Okay, so we got this trap here. I'm going to. Should I just place like a bunch of them? The thing is, I don't want the bear trap too close this way, right? Because I don't want them to get stuck and not be far enough into the trap. Fuck it, chat. We'll just do a bunch of traps. I'm just going to fill this whole freaking place with traps. So we'll do one. <laughs> but one way here. And one way here. There. He's not moving, chat. He's not moving. Anyway. All right, and then I got my last gate piece. All right, let's go place our beds. So where do I want to set up my little outpost? My res my respawn location. We want it to obviously be away from the Giga. Damn fog. Why, 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 why? Do it down here. It's as good a spot as any, right? I don't think he's going to come way over here.
Well, I, the only thing I'm worried about is I didn't want to be too close. Because... You know how, how that is. I feel like this is far enough away, but close enough. This should be okay. Now, I'm wondering if I should leave my Thyla out just in case I lose my RG. But then I don't want the Giga to come over here and kill my, my freaking Thyla. I'd rather just... Cool. We're good, chat. We're gonna we're going for it. I like this setup. If anything, I could just use my naked body and lure the Giga away. You know what I mean? Die again. We we shouldn't have an issue getting the Giga away from our body. Alright. So let me do a mock run of, of how this is gonna go. Okay, because I got I gotta in the military repetition, 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 right? So there's the Giga, get its attention, right? Fly down. I'm gonna fly through the traps like this. Whoop! He's gonna go and get trapped. I'm gonna swing around really, really fast like this. Boom! And place the trap that, right? So one more time. Go like this. Fly past this. Big dude's gonna hold. boom, he's gonna get trapped. I'm gonna swing around. Bam. Now, it sounds good, right? Now, honestly, I seen somebody say shoot, shoot it when it, could I shoot it from here and just fucking aggro it, chat? Can't hit him on the RG though. Are you guys ready for this?
Trying to be slick. I was trying to be slicker than the can of oil, chat. I was trying to be slick. That's it, right there. There it is. Don't go around the trap. All right, now it's time to get to work. That's how you make a good trap. It was like a mouse trap, chat. All right. So he, he's not he's not going anywhere, right, chat? We could uh we could get to work. Alright. So I got some raw meat, but I don't think that's gonna cut it. There was a stego over here that we could use to get some prime meat. Yeah, he's stuck like Chuck Chat. Where'd that stego go? Let me uh, let me get the stego real quick. Well, shit, should I sleep? I'm like, should I sleep him first? Because <laughs> I feel like by the time I get the damn raw, the meat, by the time he goes to sleep, um, the meat's going to go bad, you know what I mean? Stego's literally right there, so I might try to sleep him first. Okay, here we go. Let's get to work. Uh, we're looking at 39, almost 40,000. Going decent chat. This man's got so much help. 
You only gotta worry about killing them. Yeah, I brought a lot of narcotics, chat. We got probably almost a thousand. Yeah, you guys weren't lying about it. I don't like 20,000 is Well, don't run now, bro. Oh, I just gave myself narcos. Yeah, I just gave him like half a stack of narcos chat. All right, it's just not moving. We're good. Let's do this really quick. Where are you?
So the cooked mutton seems to be working good, chat. Oh wow, yeah, cook cook cooked lamb is actually pretty good, but that the uh the raw prime meat is 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 just way better. Hands down, way better. So I'll take that off. Or, yeah, the cooked lamb chop. That's what I meant. The cooked lamb chop. That's what I was getting with them. But the prime meat is actually one step. The raw prime meat is one step under that, so. Now, you guys weren't lying, though. These dudes wake up fucking quick, but. Torpor is still going up right now. I just gave him another half a stack. Yeah, that shit hits hard. I got the other... Yep, I got it right here. And then I could keep this trap here, right? And just catch other gigas in the future? Yeah, his torpor's still going up after all those narcotics I gave him, so. But I, I would have to I, I would have to still break I'd have to break the one side though and then and then place it place it down again, right? That's it, that's the only different that's the only thing I'd have to have. No, my taming rate is times three. Yeah, I just I just have it on the standard times three uh, max. I didn't I didn't change any I and I or anything. the 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 recommended was times eight, or and I was just like that seems way too high. Um, I wanted it to at least take a bit. Like if I use really really low grade stuff, it takes it took oh shit getting that one T Rex. That shit took forever because I only had raw meat. No, I, I, yeah, my taming rate, I, I showed everybody, my taming rates are literally only on times three. No, nah, when I when I seen times, the, the guy that was talking about times eight, he was saying he, he was able to claim, he was able to tame like anything within like 30 seconds with the lowest grade food. I just used all the, I used the, I think it was the best single player recommendations. Now one more chat and we did it. I don't have a Giga Saddle yet. No, I don't even, I, I don't even know how to make one of those, but we will be making one for sure. No, he was using the single player stat uh, enabled. Yeah, I, I copied his stat, his settings. Um, I, I watched like four different videos on it, and um, I went with the one that actually had the game be the hardest because the the a couple of them they're way too easy. I'm talking they had like their taming rates, their breeding rates. They were like everything was just super super high and super super fast. And I wanted stuff that at least take a little bit of time. Um, so I ended up uh, kind of picking and choosing.
Ooh, Enki, only level 15 now. Yeah, this is the quote-unquote Giga Mountain, so... We should be able to get another kick in here. Alright, so we're gonna suck him up in the Pokeball. So I wanna see what are the stats for okay, so 17,000 health, 400 stam. Um melee damage is only 55%. But what is the what is the base damage for Giga? Don't level so you guys are saying 17k health is enough health for a giga? Melee only. Whoop. Let's take a take a peek around the mountain, see if we see any other gigs. Pretty sure we won't get another one to spawn for a little bit. Watch a text that goes down there. That's a 108 tech and an 84. We'll do a lap around the mountain really quick. I'm excited to get a saddle made for that bad boy, though. Now, you guys said nothing attacks Gigas, right? Like, if I was just walking around on it, like, nothing's gonna even attack me. Other gigas, that's it. And they're so rare that the chances of me running into one of them is damn near non existent. You can't take gigas to boss fights? Why not? Even in single player PvE?
Too OP. Oh, look at all these tech racks this chat. 84 tech. Level 12 tech. I need a male tech, I believe, right? I mean, I got this Giga so I could dominate with it, chat. You know what I mean? I thought, th I thought the whole reason for getting it was to bring it into the boss fight. <laughs> Okay, so no other gigas right now. The land will get our stand back. We'll go get that gold drop though. It's level 74. Yeah, it ended up uh, taming at level 74. We got it, though, chat. We got it, though. The Giga Hunter 9000. Uh, Mary, stick for the sub. You know what this drop right here, chat? It's just icing on the cake. Ascended, ascension level uh, Giga Saddle. Right here. No, it's a ascended manta saddle. Whatever the fuck that means. And a Mastercraft Stego saddle. Manta, Giga, they're pretty much the same, right? Does the spyglass see what's in the drop? It, it, it probably does, but um, I don't want to use it for stuff like that. Like it, I'm, it's already borderline OP as hell. Uh, the spyglass, and um, that's why I turned off the outlines. That's why uh, I don't. That's why you don't just see me like going around with it on at all times. It's because it's it, the the mod itself is already borderline really good. So I, in order to justify it to myself, for it to be okay using. Um, was that I'm gonna use it like a normal spyglass because I hated the original spyglass but how it zoomed in I couldn't ever find anything in it. It was really really frustrating. So I just never used it um, But I did want to use it. So for this one I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna use it like the normal spyglass pull it up Look at what I want to look at put it away and then there it is. You know what I mean? Stand back. We're gonna stop on the outpost. What do I need for the Giga Saddle, chat? What do we need for the Giga Saddle? Um. Oh wow, they're actually not even that expensive to craft. Yeah, I get. 
Could easily get all that, all that together. I think I might even have that at the outpost. Randy, I need tips for finding oil. Uh, the water is getting... <laughs> Randy, that's what I'm saying. Um, the, the cold biome. If you, if you go up into the cold biome once you get fur armor, uh, there's oil rocks there. That's actually where I need to go. Uh, head up there, get some oil and some freaking um, polymer. Once I get this saddle, Chad, I think we're going to head down on the beach here. Uh, I'm going to level my Thyla, and I'm gonna, we're going to mess around on the Giga just to see what it's about. Get the absolutely have to get the replicator. What is a replicator now? What is a replicator? Am I gonna do any boss fights today? No, we still gotta do caves. I don't even have all the stuff to do the boss fights at the moment. Um, boss fights require you to have like certain items, and you gotta get those certain items from certain caves. Uh, I don't. The green boss is the one I'm going to do first, and I only have one of the recommended items so far. I still have to hit two more caves. All right. Got my little homie here. So for this one, we need... I got the fiber in there. Uh, I need a little bit more hide. Okay, we got the hide. And now we just need a little bit more metal. And that's it. Boom, Giga Saddle. Yeah, we still gotta get a UD. We we do gotta get a UD. Um And some of the Mega Ethereum dudes. So big. There it is, set. There it is. We're about to go. We're about to go see what he's all about.
Because we gotta go. We're gonna head down to the beach, like I said. I gotta level up my Thyla also. Let that metal cook up. Yeah, it's a big dino. It's a big, big dino. Look at all this lunch. What does this thing hold weight-wise? It actually has pretty decent baseline weight, too. It's actually way faster than uh, we're stuck on a tree. It, it does have a massive bite range, though, Chad. You guys were not lying. Get out of here, Archie. Yo, how do you in- Do not enrage him who will eat you as- I don't know, what do you mean by, uh, enrage? Oh, don't let it get too low on health, got you.
good prime meat collection. Holy crap, what? Does it... What the hell did we kill that gave us all that prime meat? Or does the Giga just collect prime meat? Because that's what he does. Just walks through the water, ankle deep. Forty Rex, easy. Did that Rex attack me? That Rex definitely attacked me. I didn't even do anything. How did I get organic polymer? Yo, the bite range on this dude is crazy. Once you start, because when we first started using the Kika, he wasn't hitting very hard at all. Um, definitely starting to hit a lot harder. <laughs> Now, it seems like I'm not getting any bleed damage, though. Generally, when you when you in, when you infect stuff with bleed, don't you get like the bleed uh, damage animation where there's like blood shooting off them and shit? 
Oh, only the wild gig. Oh, uh, that's dumb. So it seems like Giga's got nerfed pretty bad. The, like, tamed version. It'd probably be, you know, if these things were just absolute monsters, you'd Probably make a lot of the stuff in the game obsolete. Cause I don't feel like this thing's inherently any more OP than any of the Rexes I had. What's a good level to tame to get uh, that much melee? Um, I don't know. I mean, I had some imprinted Rexes, and those things are straight monsters. Um, I was able to get them up to, like, over a thousand melee, but I believe the base melee for a Giga is just higher in general than uh, a Rex. So the thing is, is if we can get a, a male Giga... ...and uh, made it and then get an imprinted baby Giga... If, yeah, if we had an imprinted Giga, that would be absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty damn ridiculous. My, I'm thinking this one maxed out would probably be sitting around 250% um, or so when it comes to melee. I don't know if that's good on a Giga. I'm pretty sure, you know, imprinted Gigas, you guys are probably looking at way higher levels than that. Eighteen hundred. That okay. That, that. Yeah, even with my boosted stats, um, I, it would, I, I don't even think I'd be able to get a thousand. Because you got to think, with my boosted stats right now, I'm still only up to 116. I, and like I said, I might be able to get 200.
We could just for the sake of it. Let me uh let's turn on the damage numbers just so we could see what we're doing. So we could I don't have to guesstimate. Um uh, forgot where damage numbers are. About 500 on it. Hit. Okay. So he's doing about 500. Now this, we need to level up. Damn, that shit's heavy. Dialed does about 150. The wifey made some, uh, I don't know if it's going to show. She made some homemade sausage roll. Oh, look at it. Look at it gooping, chat. Some homemade sausage roll. It's actual life. A lot of damn help. Let's see if we can, uh, hot. Yeah, I got. I was thinking about getting a style up to about. I don't know. What would you guys say is a good amount of health for a Thyla? Ten K minimum. See a lot of ten to twenty K in there. Over nine thousand. That shit is bomb status. It's it's so good. It's so cheesy and just perfect. It's fucking hot. Yeah, we still gotta get our mail. Email. I wonder if 
I could run South Cave right now without even leveling. Do you guys think it's possible to run South Cave right now? Oh, South Cave is the easiest? Yeah, I've, I've done two caves so far. One of them was um, the middle cave there in between the volcano and the mountain. Um, what was the other one we did, chat? Uh, Carnal Island. We did Carnal Island. And then uh, for the green boss, we only need to do, I believe it's South Cave and Lava Cave, right? And uh, thank you, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. We already got over 600 likes on the stream. Um, I appreciate the support. So we just got to get our HP up. And we'll head down to South Cave right now. Uh, McDeep. Wife appreciation donor for the love and care for the hubby. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lucky man. She's definitely great. Meet her, get her to bring me another piece. Gotta go. That shit was too good. I mean, now the thing is, I could feed it this mutton here. I wonder if the cooked mutton heals it a bit more than... Wife appreciation dono for the love and care for hubby. Well, it didn't really seem like it did very much, chat. No, not at all. I'm gonna have to drop this fur, though. As much as I want it... It's just going to be too heavy for what we're trying to do right now. Keep that out of my slot right now, just in case. Well, no. Out of the slot. So I'm going to get up to about 10k health. And uh, we're going to make our way down to the cave right now. Oh, 
We yeah, we already tamed our Giga stuff, and it's in my inventory right now, actually. Don't know how I feel about bringing it into the cave, but we should be okay. We'll be all right. I should have more than enough stuff to make it through this cave. Oh, Vale, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate that. Have a great day at work. Well, the reason why I have my um, spyglass in zero was because it was it, it's really easy for me to hit on my mouse. Um, so that's why I have it there. Thinking about going and storing my Giga away, though, just in case. Nobody wants my damn hard work trapped in the bottom of a cave, right? by the cave, actually. I'm not gonna pretend like I know where the hell I'm going right now, chat. I, I did look at the map like last stream. And I don't have it up right now. I don't I have a rough idea of where this cave is. Ooh, Baryonyx. I don't have my thing. Oh it's a bitch! That's a 95 berry right there, chat. I didn't bring any of my shit. So he's still here. That was the one we tried to tame before. All right. Now we know where he is. We're going to come back for him later on. I don't have any of my stuff to tame him. Wait, did I summon my Giga? I summoned my Giga back here, chat. When I got ta tackled by that thing. It wasn't even intentional either. I like spam summoned them.
haven't seen this part of the map in a while, Chad. This was, uh... I believe right over where we we started. Yeah, this is, uh... I think this is where I fought my first... Uh, tried to fight my first beaver. Was it up over here? No, this is the other side. We still got a ways to go this way. This is, I believe, where we tamed uh, the raptor. My, uh, my opinion now on the raptor squad? Oh, they're terrible. Okay. Um, I don't believe I have the show. For some reason, I don't have the show current position on the on the map on for whatever reason. It's the only thing I dislike is when you when you when you leave um the uh little dude falls off your neck every single time. All right, so yeah, it's on this island somewhere. That was about It'd be up here somewhere, right? Not on the right or left side, chat. In the force of my right, because I, I believe it was up uh, more on this island than it was on the other one. Uh, her. Pass it.
I didn't see it. Was that the open? That was not the opening. That shit was maybe. Oh, right here. Yeah, I just yeah. I, that was that wasn't the one. I looked I looked down in there. All right, hold on one sec, chat, before we push into here. Give me one sec. <clears throat> okay. I did make up some Ebrews. I just didn't bring them with me. Now, you guys said this is the easiest, uh, even the game. We're on this map. really isn't that many enemies in here. Dashwood. <laughs> you place these without a foundation? Whoops. <clears throat> 
Did not want to drop that. I mean, I'm not super worried about dying, chat. That, like, I didn't die in the first two caves. I don't think I'll die in this one. And even if I did lose my RG, it's... At least it's not that impressive. There was, like, nothing in here. Finally. It's wicked open, too. What is that thing? Now the difference between this cave and the ones I've been in so far, this one is huge. And has like multiple different ways you could go. The other ones were pretty linear in comparison to this. Seriously?
gotta go do some more exploring for the cave loot. Pretty open on this side, so we could grab Lisa. <laughs> Trying to find the damn cave, uh, cave chest under by the water. Wait, is this the same circle? Really? She was right here, though. Stamina. Some dementoria are also carriers for a dub swamp fever, which persists beyond the leech's own lifespan. Few creatures on the island are transmitters for this disease, and it can ultimately be cured with a rare medicine. While dementoria is not intelligent enough to be tamed, it is always useful to keep a few around for antidotes and fishing lures. When processed properly, dementoria venom can be made into a powerful antivenom. Powerful anti-venom. Have I turned the poo off? No, no, I didn't. I didn't change the poo setting. Alright, there we go. Feed my otter. My otter should be more than good. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I put tons of food on him. Otter, the otter's good, chat. The otter's good. What do you mean you burn the sausage? Scrape it off. Oh, what the hell was that?
this explorer knows. Explorer knows doing dead, doing big XP gains, chat. So, in addition to all of the oddities I found with wild megalodons, here's the real Taming them is basically this. training, and then more. This cave is huge, chat. is huge compared to the ones we've been in I don't even know how to get out Techniques effectively prevent most creatures from escaping Caprasuchus once an assault has begun. Jesus. Survivors are generally split about the usefulness of Caprasuchus. Some love its speed both in and out of the water, essentially making it among the fastest small sized all terrain mounts when traveling. If you burn sauce, can't Others you just make more like sauce? What is it made out of? Is, and do not think its high speed and ensnaring attacks make up for this shortcoming. I'm never leaving now. Would I go? I go deeper. I mean, I don't mind exploring deeper because I gotta level up the styla anyways. The other artifact cave for green, though, that was... Which one did you guys call that? Is that the lava cave? I believe you guys said the name was the, yeah, the lava cave. I remember where that one was. Swamp Cave wasn't green, though. Swamp Cave was for a different boss. I go for the boss today? I don't know if I have the dinos for it. I think I know we need still need some megatheriums and um, the pig. I would like to get a pig. Uh, now, I think my rexes, like, you know, leveling up my rexes, I know I'm wasting a bunch of the XP buff right now. I mean, we have so much of it, though. I mean, it's... Okay, so that was just a circle. Thank you. 
All right, let me see here. Um, we'll keep this on him for now. No, is there? We're, we got a little bit of uh, room left for wait. Now, for the Gamma bosses, all I needed was the, uh... can actually go check. We're gonna be down close to the obelisk, so I'll be able to check what I need for the green boss. tree. Let me live my life, dude. Is it more up this way? The... the cave? Or is it down? Felt like it was more this way. Yeah, I'm about to switch to my RG right now, actually. Yeah, the good thing about that cave that we just did had no bats at all. <coughs> no bats. Yeah, this was the RG I got from uh, the Christmas event when all the dinos were like all types of cool colors. I didn't realize that was like a limited thing. Because I was kind of weirded out when I first initially um, was like started playing. I was like, man, these co dinosaur colors are wicked, wicked weird. Um, and then... Uh, now that they're gone, I'm kind of like, oh, well, there was some pretty damn cool ones. It was the Christmas event. Yeah, the Christmas event. So... In, in official service chat, not even just official, but in service, how many people do you think try to build on that island there? Is that like a hot spot? Oh, 
all of them. <laughs> My my Argy's named Lisa. it over here somewhere there we go Well, I already had a sleeping bag here, chat. From when we found the place the first time. <clears throat> Chris with the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Probably like a golden eagle. I have a yellow one back at my base, but it's, yeah, it's not gold, unfortunately. Alright, here we go, chat. We're going into the lava cave. So I'm going to need my otter on me to keep me from melting alive in this place, right? Really, dude. Mine is colored like a golden eagle. Kronos. Thilo, Thilo was thick for the entrance set. You know what's crazy, chat? This was actually the first cave I ever walked into before. My Thyla touches f lava. It's not going to, like, insta-die, right? Oh, it will almost insta die. <laughs> I mean, this is my Mac Daddy Thyla, so we can't we can't be just losing this one. Ken with the super chat, make some uh, scissors. Give yourself a hair. Yeah, I got some back at base. Get ourselves cleaned up. Doesn't look like a good time, chat. Wow. Well, there's actual dinos in this one.
It doesn't look like I need to go over that way, at least yet. So there's the chest. Over jumped a little bit there. Lead us down to the so left. It's to the cave chest. And I'll take it that way. Is probably to the artifacts. On all your old vids I watched before, uh, it's a. I mean, Zeno. You know, it, it, obviously, it does help. You know what I mean. But you, you, you don't have to do all that. I mean, from this point forward. You know, if if you do it, that that that's more than enough. I don't, you know, that's a lot of work right there to go back and you know try to like every one of my videos. But yeah, I mean, obviously it would help, but you know, at the same time, I could never ask anybody to do that. that that's a lot. Help here. <clears throat> Is yellow cave loot good? Uh, as you know, I appreciate that, man. How to protect against rabies? Rabies? What? No, it doesn't really. Did I not have my otter on when I... <laughs> There's a lot of baddies around here.
could jump over there. Um, I don't want to risk those bats coming at me, so I'll just walk the way the bats are. So I could dismount and walk through there and grab it, but I just didn't want the bats to aggro to me, so we'll just push this way. That looks pretty good. Yet. Well, I suppose if they return with another batch of apes, then I'll know that Lazarus Chowder doesn't cause asphyxiation, won't I? It's not exactly a conclusive scientific trial, but I suppose it would serve. Unfortunately, all these primitive it was primates have given rock. 319% weapon damage, chat. Uh, Isabel said she is working on some sort of air freshener, but I hope she makes haste. My my crossbow is what two hundred and eighteen percent. Why is this? It's very expensive. <laughs> it's expensive to craft. Twenty six hundred ingots. I had so much like it's such a big difference having a Thyla that's almost level 200 compared to a lot that's level 100 <laughs> like night and day I, I know it's an obvious thing like oh obviously dude but no chat it's like I thought my other Thyla was good I couldn't even imagine, like, an imprinted, like, Thyla. That shit would be silly. Like, actually silly.
Let's say that was a high level bat. Usually they die in a couple hits. That one was like, he was tanky. There, there's the artifact. Oh, we gotta go around now. Huh? Alright, man. I gotta jump that this shit? To flee from them than to risk its life in fight. The Atlas of Megaloceros are very large and make for an excellent source of food. This, of course, makes it a valuable resource. Unfortunately, hunting Megaloceros is not easy because of their quick speed. I think I might go to the other way, chat. The other way only had the one little bit of lava I had to worry about. And many who ride it value it. It is decently powerful, and it's resilient to speed, and the ability to jump off of it. Finally, the male Megaloceros charging horn attack tends to cause targets to bleed, decreasing their health, stamina, and speed until you <laughs> There it is, chat. I already stored one in the otter. Yeah, I got one from the other cave on my otter, and then I have that one on me. So. No, we went down. I'm going to go down and around.
do I always do this to myself, chat? I always find a way to get stuck. Again, like stuck is it, it, it's my special power. It's my it's literally my stone cold thunder. All right, so first thing, we need to go fly by the obelisk. There it is, chat. Two caves down. I believe that's all the caves we needed for green boss, if, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here's the green obelisk. Oh yeah, my giga grab him out the chest. I missed the super chat. Uh, a wild Timo, thank you so much. Ten minutes ago, I'm sorry I missed that. Um... Only a lesser antidote will help you against rabies. Uh, but the otter is the only creature in Ark that can hold multiple artifacts in its inventory. That's what's up. Um, but again, thank you so much, Wild Tank. I appreciate it. Yeah, the otter definitely made it so I was I was able to do both of those runs. I've done three. I've done all three caves so far for Green Boss. I believe we did the middle, the middle cave. We did the lava cave and the south cave. See, people said it can spawn any boss at any obelisk, but then I was told that in single player you can't do that. We'll, 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 we'll figure that out right now when we get over here. Hey, oh, Wild Timo, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My question is, is when you come here to do the boss. Okay, I was like, <laughs> how the hell do you get up to it with all your dinos? It looked like it was a f floating on an island. <laughs> no, guys, all three of them are here. Or all oh, these are all different levels of the brood mum. Yeah, so yeah, it's only one boss per obelisk chat. Yeah, it's only one boss per obelisk. Uh, but they're just all different levels. So uh, I have all three of these. Now, could I upload these now? Like the two I have on me and then just like leave it? Or do I need to do it all at once?
They don't disappear? Okay. That's what I was hoping. I was like, man, because that'd be... What, do you just pop it in there? Oh, yeah, look at that. You just literally just pop it in there. And I have that other one back at my house. Minimum survivor level requirement is only level 30 chat for for gamma. It doesn't seem very high and it says easy. So is the gamma level bosses like really easy? Or is Gamma still going to just absolutely shred my dinosaurs? <laughs> it's not easy. It's just the easiest. <laughs> So we got to get some Megatheriums, chat. That, that that has to happen. Um, like I said, I'm 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 feeling feeling good about my imprinted Rex team that I have currently. Uh, might want to just get them a few more levels. Um, get them guys cleaned up, and we can head up to the snow biome. Get our hands on a pig. If I get my hands on a pig, a Yudi, and like a male female meg relatively high level and then get maybe like three or four imprinted megatheriums I, I feel like we'll be good chat you know three or four imprinted megs with like my like four or five of my good t-rexes pig not necessary for gamma all right cool That's what I'm thinking, because the, the imprinted Rexes we have, Chet, they are, they are disgustingly powerful. Like, disgusting. Like, one of my imprinted, I, I, one of my imprinted Rexes has, like, 50k health, Chet, and, like, a thousand percent melee damage. <laughs> Absolutely monster. Yeah, I, I, I'm, that's why we're gonna we're gonna strive for. Um, we're gonna try to get two megatheriums, and then um, male, female. If I could get like a few of them imprinted, because they probably don't take as long to mate as like Rexes, right? Oh, it actually takes longer? Mm. I'm wondering how long it would take with my settings, though, because as you guys know, my, my mating settings are pretty quick. I mean, the Rex, the whole process for a T-Rex still did take probably like an hour, over an hour to fully do it. And that was for like one. To fully like max out a baby T-Rex took, took like an hour.
Oh, the max amount of dinos you can bring into a boss fight is 20? Got you. I'm going to have to make more cryopods, though, because that's going to be a fucking annoying trying to transport and, like, walk all them dudes across the map. That'd be so frustrating. So we'll have to just cryo everybody up. We'll test it out, chat. Like I said, we'll, we're going to test it with what we have. If we go in there and get shredded, hey, learning experience, right? Wait, Thylus can't fight bosses either? What I beat Gamma, I'll want to do. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, my, my main goal was to just experience each boss. Because I do want to check out every map on this game. I want to check out every map. Um, so. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. You know, if, if I do run. Um, if I do run it, we'll see. Oh, I'm pretty. No, uh, yeah. Bad Wolf Tech Rex is going in. And Ed Bob. Ed Bob's going in. Bad Wolf Tech Rex is going in. Um, and then my three imprinted Rexes. And then uh, I'll bring like, you know, however mega th many Megatheriums we can get imprinted up. And I would like to get a Yudi. But we're going to have to tra trap a Yudi. But I could trap a Yudi, what? The same way I trapped the freaking... Uh, Trap a Yudi the same exact way I trapped the uh, Giga, right? That's like ideal strat. I'm, I'm taking it. Where the hell did that drop go? There was a really good drop over here. I guess it literally just disappeared. Oh, and my Spino. And my Spino. Yeah, I'll bring my Spino too. Oh, imprinting only works for dinos you ride. So the fact that they're imprinted doesn't even matter. Well, I I was talking the, the thing about the imprinting that that I I was referring to is um, an imprinted dino gets more stats per level compared to an unimprinted dino. So let's just say for an example, at least from what I noticed, if my unimprinted T Rex gets a level and I add it to damage, I'll get ten percent more melee damage. If I have an imprinted dino and I add a level, he'll get 25% more damage. You know what I mean? So it seems like the imprinted dinos get more stats per level, which ed ends up in the long run being humongous um, like compared to like a normal dino leveling. Come on, get down. I need to freaking do something about that. I'm, I'm probably going to like open that up and just make it nothing there because it's so annoying trying to squeeze through like this little roof bit. Probably going to tear that down and just make the ladder go straight up. Oh, he's got a shit, dude. And I should try to craft, maybe try to craft this freaking long neck rifle and just sit there and no shotgun, right? Shotgun would do you think the shotgun will do more damage or do you think this ascension ascendant long neck will do more damage? What dino is my favorite? The Thyla. Hands down.
Shotgun and Shotty still better? Sniper is the best. Oh yeah, true. I won't have to shoot in the cave or in the in the boss fight. I'll just be eating things with the dinosaur I'm riding. That's actual facts. Okay, so store that up. But let, let let's let's look at this really quick. Let's look at this. You guys ready for this? Today was a big achievement chat for this reason. Look at it. It's got our T-Rexes looking like mini me, dude. Look at the size towers over these things. Literally, the T-Rex looks so little. There it is. You gotta love it, chat. You gotta love it. Now, I was really happy about that, though. We are able to pull that off. But the thing was, before we did it too, there was so much no faith in the chat. I think I see, I think I seen like four people that were like, nah, you got this. And everybody else was like, dude, you're done. But we pulled it off, chat. We pulled it off. So yeah, we're going to be bringing... Tech Rexes, um, two Tech Rexes, Spino, and then my imprinted T Rexes, Megatheriums, which we got to try to acquire next episode. But that's going to be the goal for next episode, chat. Is we're going to try the boss fight. We're going to try Broodmother next boss or next episode. That that that's our goal. We're going to hit the Broodmother. Um, I'm I'm excited. We we might get shredded. We might get actually shredded. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going for it. Next episode, uh, we're gonna. The first thing we're doing, literally, the first thing we're doing. Um, first thing we're doing is we're gonna head up north. We're gonna try to get some megatheriums, um, male, female, high level, and then uh, bring them back, mate them, see how long that's gonna take, and then. Uh, Get the dream team together and head over to the damn boss. I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, I might get some more of the healing potions crafted up too. We'll get some of those going for myself, even though I highly doubt I'll need them. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know if I'll do a UD chat. We'll see. I might do the UD. Uh, I might even be able to get away with just riding on a Rex myself. Uh, because like I said, it is a gamma level boss. And from what you guys are explaining, it seems like the gamma level bosses aren't all that but uh i don't know we might do, we might do the ud for the for the just for the because it, it buffs all the other dinos in the team right twenty five percent Mm. Yeah, so I mean, it it it, it won't be hard though, because I know how to build the traps now. We I could do and UDs don't be. I could do stone walls right for UD. It doesn't have to be metal. So I could do the UD stone or the the stone walls. Get some bear traps down. Um, go get myself a UD up in this in the snow. We got it, chat. So we'll try to get a UD. We'll try to get the two um the megatheriums. And we'll go from there. Like it, it depends. Obviously, we'll try. My goal is to try the boss next episode. Uh, but if it takes too long to get the mags or or the UDs, then we'll go from there. But that's our goal, at least. That's our goal. Um, but I do want to tell you guys, thank you so much for over 800 likes on the stream. Remember, if you guys are enjoying this art content, uh, we got a lot in front of us. A lot, a lot uh, of content in front of us. So um Best way to let me know that you guys want to keep seeing more 
hey, just smash the like button. Now, that's that's all I'd judge it on. You know, if you guys are liking it, we're playing it. Um, because this is one of those games that we could potentially be playing on the channel for months and months and months and months and months. Um, so as long as you guys want to keep watching it, I will keep playing it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Like I said, we got we got our Giga done, uh, which was great. We got our Metal Forge uh, Forge going. We could probably actually go over there and, and get the Industrial Forge done up at some point also. Uh, and knocked out two more Artifact Caves. We have Green fully done, and we're ready, chat. We're ready. So uh, thank you guys so much. I had a great time with you today. I will be doing another stream uh, here in a little bit after I'm done eating dinner. So hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. Uh, but if you have it on your way out, hey, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Other than that, everybody, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.